everyone, welcome back. Just wanted to show you uh, the tank. What I've been trying to get straightened out on it for the last couple of weeks is um, the alkalinity has been pretty high, like 10.5, and the calcium was low. So that caused um, these uh, monies to grow the skeleton, the structure of them grow really fast in the tissue. Uh, it wasn't growing as fast, so um, I actually do have, um, I was waiting for my uh, uh, um, more calcium from BRS, that way I could add more calcium and that would drop, you know, raise calcium and drop the alkalinity on it. Um, I also have a little bit of, or I got quite a bit of cyano uh, popping up again, I always, that always pops up every couple months, um, so I've got to do uh, the chemi clean again to get rid of that. Everything's doing pretty good. Um, before I was fighting the uh, the pellet reactor and uh, what was causing the the biofilm everywhere, the sludge from that was uh, my nitrates weren't very high and I had too many pellets in there, so I kept reducing them. And uh, pretty soon I just had to shut it off, and the tank's been doing much better. It's got a, it's got like you know I, I have that. Um, API test kit and you know it's it's not that um, <clears throat> easy to read so it looks like it's between 5 and, and 15 depending on which way you look at it under the light but uh, so I'm just the tank looks better I'm just gonna leave it for a while until and you know test every once in a while see how high they get but I think with the bio load that I have I just think that the tank really doesn't need a pellet reactor right now I took out the substrate that probably helped out with reducing the nitrates. That's what I'm thinking. So, stuff's been doing really good. Um, I need to clean it. I always get that uh, that detritus over here in the low flow area. So, just overlook that part. And the, the zoos are looking pretty good. I'm trying to get that the that shimmer the shimmer from the light off of there, so you guys can see the the growth in the zoa. So. That's turned into to a pretty big colony from one little frag with like that's the that's the frag right there right in the center with you know I think it had like five or seven and within a year I think I had it for about a year maybe a little bit more they've been covering the rocks um, this one's a slow doesn't grow that that fast and uh, something happened to the to the one side over there because it did have zoos on the other side. And I do have astrias that keeps showing up here and there, and I keep finding them. Um, this little colony is getting. Oops, sorry about that. Keep doing it. That colony is getting a little bit bigger, and these are doing good. My uh, coralline. Now that I have um, the calcium back up to where it needs to be, my coralline is getting a little bit more purple. Before it was kind of faded out. There's a big part of the cyano right there, and these purple zones are, are starting to grow now. They have like at the bottom of the screen, I believe that's all new growth. Oh, and then let me show you this. This was kind of cool. Let me zoom over to here. This uh, in the bottom of the screen, the yellow, green, and pink ones came from these ones, which is pretty cool. So now this. It's starting to morph like I've got these uh, the green and yellow ones with the yellow and red ones and they're kind of all mixing together and then I those grow pretty quick those uh, green and pink ones and give you some kind of close up on them they're pretty cool if you guys know what kind these are shoot me a comment they have some good color like these ones it's it's weird uh, those look almost blue in the center, and then well, I guess these other ones do too. And uh, what else do I want to show you guys? The leather, uh, I don't know if that, there looks like a little nick out of it. There's like there's no polyps right in that little spot, or maybe they're just kind of folded under. But the yeah, leather's doing pretty good now. And uh, this one's starting to cover the whole, the whole rock again. 
I like these ones too. Here, let me show you. I don't think these are exactly the same as those other blue ones. Because the other blue ones have a green center. And these ones kind of have like a blue and light blue center. Depends on the lighting, of course. And let me show you my A cans before I let you guys go. They're all doing pretty good. What do you think? I kind of want to get that little Zoa out of there. Because if he starts growing, then they could take over this rock where my A cans are. And what I'm going to do next, when you guys see the next video, let me zoom out. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. I like the way the aquascape is from the top down. Let me show you. So that's kind of how it looks. It's top down. And the tank is pretty dirty. I've got to clean it. But um, I'm actually going to redo it a little bit. And I'm going to put all the Zoas, anything that has a Zoa on there, I'm putting it all together on one side. And then I'm going to have a, a, a two islands. So one island is just going to be Zoas only so I can control them. And then the other side is going to be my uh, A cans and stuff like that. My leather will be on the right side. So it'll look pretty different. Oh, you know what? Let me show you real quick while I swim by. Never had this happen with any of my fish before, but I've had this guy for several years now. And he's got one eye, an infection in one of his eyes. It's popped out a little bit. So um, I, I don't have my uh, hospital tank, quarantine tank, up and running right now, but I do have my UV sterilizer running, and it's, the flow through it's about 250 gallons an hour, so I'm really trying to kill everything that's in the water, and, uh, you know, I want to reduce the bacteria that's in the water, that's what I read on Reef to Reef, and uh, they said it should be fine, most of the time they, they're fine. Just needs to heal up. It's probably they said he probably swam into something and kind of scratched and gotten infected or something. Because he's not sick. It's it's the as I. You guys have any advice? Let me know. Any comments? Appreciate it. All right. Thanks for watching.